Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how I fix my Hero 3. The problem I had was that the uh, shutter button and the Wi-Fi button weren't working. I could turn it on and off. Um, I tried all the usual fixes of upgrading the firmware, uh, using a different uh, micro SD card, all that sort of thing. So, um, <clears throat> several emails to GoPro. The best they could do was offer me a 20% discount because it was uh, three years old and I didn't like that and then they offered me a 40% discount and I thought oh, okay I'm, I'll see if I can pull it apart and see if I can fix it myself and because uh, I'm an electronic engineer I know my way around boards and that sort of thing so I thought I'll give it a go so before I start usual disclaimer if anything goes wrong with yours uh, I'm not held responsible basically do it at your own risk um, You'll probably do this only if it's out of warranty anyway, so everything should be fine. Now, uh, I've taken it apart already. You can see my screws are here. Uh, and uh, let's start. So the first thing you'll do is take the um, aluminium part off the, the front. And I just use like a little Stanley knife and just went around the edges. Just pried it off very gently. It's got some double-sided tape on the back. So once you get that off, like this is going to come off easily because I've already taken it off. And just be careful with the um, little LEDs, the little LED covers here. One popped out, but you can find find fairly easily. You can put it back in. All right. So once you get that off, what we've got, as you can see around the edges here, we've got four torque number four screws, which are these little things here. And so you've got your little I've got a little torque screwdriver that I bought from. Uh, I had another little job that I did with uh, through iFixit, and this came with the kit and uh, quite a good little kit actually. It's the whole kit that came with the iFixit kit. So if you go to iFixit.com, I think it is, and uh, I think you can buy them direct. You can get them off eBay, and this has got heaps of little torque torque driver bits and. Um, you know, Phillips head and flat head and that sort of thing comes in very handy. So once you get that off, you can actually um, open up the rest of it. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if I can get this off easily again. All right. Just be very careful that you're not. Oh, first thing to do is take the battery out. Whoops. Okay. So make sure the battery's out. I forgot to mention that. You don't want to short anything. So just pry it around. Just be really careful. I've taken this off already, so it shouldn't be too hard to get off again. Okay. Come on, because you've got little boards under there, so just be careful. Just be very careful. And that should just come out. Alright, there we go. Okay, so now you've got two parts. Right, so I'll just run through what everything is. Let's see, I'll just try and focus this better. Manual focus on this. Okay, so basically, you got the uh, where the battery. There's the battery contacts there. So what we're looking at is with with the actual uh, fault. You got these three contacts here. One, two, three. And what I did was I gently pried them up. If you look. See if I can fit this focus better. Uh, so you get the three contacts there, and you just gently pry them up. Mike, when I looked at it, they're all different, different uh, heights. So just pry them up a little bit. So they're, they're basically spring contacts, which uh, contact on on the here. So when you press the button, when you press the shutter button. They meant to make contact, you know, over time, maybe it's temperature variation or whatever. Uh, they don't make very good contact. So 
So you've got those three there, and also where are the other th other ones. Yeah, these two on the side here, where the uh, that's the speaker. These two here, gently pry those up as well. And basically, when you put it all back together, it should work. Well, it worked for me. So it's really worth having a go. You can see there's a double-sided tape on there, so that's really what's holding it all. And I'll just show you that it's working now. And put it back together. I'll just loosely put this back together because I'll put the screws in later. Okay, so put the battery back in. And here we go. Turn him on. Okay, and here's the big test. We're at uh, 2.7K, 30 frames per second. Beautiful. Everything works. Stop it. And that button all works. The mode button. You can go through there. Also, the Wi Fi button is working now. I'll just push the Wi Fi button. There you go. Little blue lights coming on. Wi Fi all works. Everything is working now. So, if you've got trouble with your Hero 3 and it's out of warranty and you've got nothing to lose, because even if you get the discounted price that they offer, you've got to actually send this back anyway. So, <laughs> send it back broken. If you've got nothing to lose, just, just try it out. Worked for me. So it might work for you too. So uh, mine, mine's all fixed. I don't need to go through the rigmarole of sending this back to the USA and getting a bloody uh, a refund or you know discounted price off a new one. So uh, I was only going to get 40%, which is a the maximum they could give me, which is 40% discount on like a Hero 4 Black. So yeah, just give it a go. Mine, mine seems to be working perfectly now. So uh, see how you go, guys. So leave your comments down below. And I've got plenty of other videos as well if you're into cycling I've got lots of old historic cycling videos and that so check those out and I've got some footage from uh, this Hero 3 was on a Phantom quadcopters so uh, check those out as well okay cheers thanks for watching